to my channel and a new little mini series that I'm trying uh, called the Sims 4 challenge scenarios so I've been seeing these little scenarios on my I guess start page for a while and I haven't had a chance to try one yet and I saw this one right here best friends forever it's available now it just got out um, like the day before yesterday and apparently it's only here for like 30 days I think so I was like I kind of want to try it and see what it's about it is considered difficulty easy which probably I don't, I don't know I kind of feel like will it be okay I don't know but I think it'll be cute to do like a little mini series with it and kind of like see um, exactly what it is um, and if you guys do end up enjoying this LP or this mini LP um, let me know and I can do some more because there's so many different ones here like I said I have yet to try any of them so I think it'd be kind of cute and cool to do something different so best friends forever it says the themes is friendship romance and school again it's limited time and it says a good friend knows all your stories a best friend helped you write them okay I don't know what that means but anyway <laughs> let's check out the um, I guess the the rules or the stipulations I guess but yeah it says it starts started within 30 days before it disappears um so I don't know I, I just like let me just go on and grab it now but anyway they say best friends are forever form bonds by making a childhood best friend and becoming good friends with other youthful sims play adventure and form lifelong sentiments in the passion of youth before entering into your teenage years so the requirements is one child sim and at least one young adult or older sim then we have create memories, potential outcomes, create memories and forge the fires of friendship as a child, renewed friendship, blossoming love, rejection or heartbreak, battle teenage angst by carrying the story forward where relationships are tested and deeper bonds can form. I have no idea what any of that stuff means. Like what? So basically we're going to make a child sim, make an adult sim to go with them and um, go from there and see what happens. So let's get started. All right, guys, we are finally in game. It took me a little while to set this world up, but I am excited because not only do we get a chance to get started with the challenge, but I'm also going to be playing with a couple mods that I have been dying to try. <laughs> so one of them in particular is the Zerbu's go to school mod, which um, has been around for a really long time. And imagine my excitement, like, I don't know, two weeks ago, I found out that he was still updating it. I thought he had abandoned it. So apparently it's still being updated um, and I haven't had a chance to try it, but it has been recently updated. I'll put the link in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But I felt like it'd be the perfect mod to play with for this challenge because we're playing with a child sim and our whole purpose is to have this child sim make friends. And so why not go to school with the child sim? So right now we are in Tartosa. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a really beautiful world. I have yet to play in it. And so I felt like this would be a good opportunity to play with it with this LP. We are with the Kirby family. It is consisting of a mother and her daughter. Um, originally, I wanted to do it where the um, father was recently deceased. I wanted to give myself a little challenge because knowing that the daughter would have just gotten over like a really big loss in her family and she'd probably be sad for a couple days. I was like, that'd be cool. But when I was in cast and I went to go add the dad, it like told me I didn't meet the challenge requirements because it really says only one adult and one kid. So if you add any more people in the household, you have to do it after you exit cast. So I was just like, I won't worry about it. But I think the biggest aspect or the biggest challenge that's going to be the funnest to me is being able to do the go to school mod as well as uh, doing the challenge anyway so we are in Tartosa right now we are on a lot that's right by the water it's already rainy of course it is Sunday because we just moved in and of course <laughs> the welcome committee is here outside the household right now but I'm going to show you guys the of course this is just a house that was in the game already and I actually kind of liked it so I wasn't going to tweak it or fix it um, it's definitely for the aesthetic for this world. The only thing that's kind of concerning is the bedrooms are a little bit small, but the mom is like just getting started. Single mom household, she's just getting started with her life. They just moved here. So I'm just gonna let her get a job and just like figure it out from there. My purpose though, is not to play with the mom at all. If I do anything with the mom, it might be just make her make some food or maybe take care of her needs. But for the most part, I just want to focus on the little girl. Okay, so anyway, so this is the house right here. The only thing that I did um, was hold on let's go down I think it's page down 
look at me remembering stuff. The only thing that, <laughs> the only thing that I did was fix up the bedroom a little bit because I wanted it to be more kid friendly. So I just put like a little bit. It's a really small bedroom, but I feel like it's going to meet its requirements. And as the mom get, goes along making more money or whatever, maybe we'll just do a little upgrades here and there. But this is supposed to be like a mini series was I on play and I meant to pause it anyway this will just be like a little mini series I don't want it to be like a long-standing LP unless there's like something crazy that happens and I'm just like oh my gosh I gotta finish playing this because this is a lot of fun um this is the little uh kitchen right here uh the living room there is no tv and I thought about adding one but I was like you know what it's okay if they don't have a tv um not all families have to have tvs I feel like my family needs one but I don't I don't think they need one. Anyway, here's a little bathroom upstairs. I mean, up right there. And then upstairs, for some reason, the exterior um, staircase is what leads to the mom's bedroom, which shall be, oh, I guess we got to go page up again. There we go, right here. And her bedroom is really basic. Uh, they don't have a lot of money, so I didn't want to go in and fix a bunch of stuff. I just really wanted to focus on the daughter's room. So, oh gosh, people are already, they already left. Um, but I'll introduce you guys to the family really quick. Um, I do have a bunch of mods in my game, so y'all are probably going to see a couple notifications because we literally just got back in the game. Um, so it's going to be <laughs> a lot of notifications and stuff pop up. But if you guys want any information on any of the mods that you see popping up, let me know. I'm really getting back into modding my game because I had took a break for a while because mods were constantly breaking every time there was an update. So I just took a bunch of script mods out, but there are so many good ones out right now. I couldn't help but to just like partake. But we're dealing with $600 right now, unfortunately. Um, that was after mom had cut on electricity and all that stuff because the SMB financial bills mod I think is what it's called um yeah this one right here you have to sign up for home services and I probably shouldn't have done the premium home package but I did it was 890 simoleons and so now we're left for 605 I should have just done the basic one because they don't have tv so it's like I did this one but we don't even have tv but if, if mom decides to go buy a tv and we figure out where to put it yeah, but I really shouldn't have done that, but it's fine. After I done it, I was like, dang, Samantha, you probably shouldn't have done that. Um, there are also property taxes with this and things like that. But again, I'm not really worried about that because we're just going to be um, focusing on the child. And here she is right here. Her name is Jules Jalisa. Jalisa. I swear I named her. I swear I did. No, actually, I randomized her name. And I was like, this name sounds pretty. Anyway, it's Jalisa Kirby. And she's just a kid. Um, some of her traits Really quick, I'll show you guys. Um, she's a geek and her aspirations is social butterfly because of course she wants to make a friend and we've already done that. <laughs> but we do have some goals over here for the challenge. We have to become best friends with another child sim, become good friends with four sims and after becoming friends, talk with the monster underneath your bed, imaginary play, tell secret or threaten to throw away your stuffed animal. We don't even have a stuffed animal, so that's crazy. Anyway, play games, activities that build skill while at a park and do homework, have a birthday party and age up as a teen. So we have to do all of this before she becomes an adult. I mean, I'm sorry, a uh, a teen. And um, the only thing I don't know for a fact, which I bet you we need to probably check real quick. I want to make sure. Okay, so she's on day six of 52 of being a kid. So real quick, I want to change. I feel like the best thing to do um, for this is probably put it on normal right and then we're going to go on and tweak her age a little bit I'm doing all of this so you guys can kind of see well now it's two of 13 but we only really have 13 days to do this in because we're doing a normal um lifespan uh is that going to kick me in the butt later on I hope not um but you know ho hopefully <laughs> hopefully we'll just Hopefully it'll be okay. All right, we're gonna do zero because we'll just say she just aged up to a kid. And then we'll have basically 13 sim days. Y'all, is that enough time? Oh my gosh, I don't even know if that's enough time. Now I'm having now I'm having remorse here. Um oh gosh. 13 days to become a best friend. You know what? Let, let's do it. Let's do it. I, truth be told, like I said, I don't want this to be like a long series because it's really me taking a break from my other LPs while I finish getting them all set up. Because being that it's been so long, is yeah, <laughs> it's been a struggle. Anyway, I'm digressing. I'm taking a lot of time up on your hands that you probably want to hear. But I'll go on and get her set up while I tell you guys um, 
what we plan on doing today. So today is Sunday. And right now she already wants to go and hide from everyone. But you know what? I'll have her go write down some confetti. We're just going to go in and minimize this for now. And then we're going to play with this Void Critter thing. This is another mod that I found where it's like a little handheld Void Critter machine. Uh, so we'll play around with that. When she... Oh, your sim is already doing this? Okay. Well, when did she start playing Void Critter? Okay, I don't even remember. Okay, we'll just have her put it in her inventory when she's finished writing. So like I said, we're just going to focus on her right now. She is absolutely... Oh, no, it's okay. It can't be that bad. <laughs> Y'all, I hope 13 days is going to be enough. It seems like it's a lot. Oh my gosh, but it should be fine. But um, here's our mom right here. So we'll, um, oh, maybe we'd beg for new toys. Can we, can we get some new toys, mom? Can we please get some new toys? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Her mom's name is Larissa. <laughs> I forgot to say that. Uh, I do need to find mom a job. I know I said we weren't going to do much with mom, but I will look for her a job really quickly so that we could at least have that taken care of. And honestly, since we live in Tart Tartusa, is that how you pronounce it? I feel like I'm butchering it. Since we live here, I'm probably going to have her do uh, something wedding related. Hopefully there's like a wedding related job. I don't even know. I did download some new jobs and stuff from... Um, a website so there's a couple of go to work type jobs so like the business one of course uh i got a fire fighter um i think the higher education one is another mod i think but we'll probably just have her is there not a wedding planner one man that kind of is disappointing i'm not gonna even lie i was hoping that there was a wedding planner one because i was like when we get there i'm gonna let her go do the wedding planner i could i could put her in education which i think will mean she'll just end up working at the school where her daughter goes to school so i don't want to do that so what i'm gonna do you know what i'll have her go do interior decorator but i won't physically go to the job um, but I feel like that'll be cool because I haven't had a chance to really do anything with that yet. The pay is $600. Do we need to go for a little something? Oh, and this is per gig, which means I might have to do it. So let's not do that. Um, let's do, she'll, she'll work in higher education. So we'll just do that. She goes from seven to three. She's making $10 an hour, which is in horrible, but it's not the best either. 10 simoleons, I'm sorry. So we'll just go on and do that for now. But if it doesn't work out good, attend active work day. Oh no, I have to actually go into school. Um, you know what? She'll be fine. I'm not worried about it because we're just going to focus on the daughter. I just really wanted to get the mom a job. So we'll just go from there. It is currently raining. So we're just going to focus on this and then get her ready to go to school. Of course, since we just get in the game, we don't have any needs or anything we need to worry about. She is adorable. Her little voice. I swear. <laughs> All right. But maybe if mom, oh, mom's up here smelling things. All right. I'm glad you enjoy the smell, mom. Do you need to do anything? All right, so does she need to do anything related to work? She doesn't. All right, so I'm just going to let her do her thing. And we're just going to focus on little Jalisa, Jalisa here. Jalisa. She's going to go upstairs and talk to her mom, and then we're going to sit here. That's the only thing I don't like about this house. I don't know that I like the fact that the stairs are on the outside, especially because it is raining outside. So it's like you have to go in the rain to go upstairs. And then they put the door way over here. <laughs> so it's like, not only do I have to go up the stairs, I got to go all the way over here. Aw, hi, mom. All right, can we go? Oh, we're going in here. Oh, ask about. Okay, I guess we're going in here to talk to mom for a little bit. Let me go. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're going back downstairs. All right, is it raining in here? Oh, I thought it was raining in there. The way she was looking like, huh? I'm like, wait a minute, lady. Now, I didn't build this lot, but I'm pretty sure there's a roof on it. All right, so oh, it looks like it's clearing up a little bit. So I went through my game and added so many families. So I'm anticipating... I was about to say, who in the world? So we do have another welcome wagon. Who was the other welcome wagon? <laughs> I thought the other one was a welcome wagon. All right, let's come over here and do a respectful introduction to both of them. I'll just go on and cue mom up to come over here because I don't really want them to be in there. I don't like when you don't say something to them. They'd be like, oh, you know, I guess I guess we're not wanted here. And then they'll do this whole negative interaction thingy and then we'll have a negative relationship with them. And I'm like, I didn't even get a chance to say hi to you, but okay, whatever whatever you say. Um, but anyway, so I guess we're going upstairs to play with our void critter thing. Yeah, I don't, hmm, I might change this house around. Don't be surprised if in episode two, this house looks totally different because I don't, I don't like the fact that she's here she's here like this all right did mom say we don't have no money okay she said well, she's she's excited about it awesome all right so let's go try to talk to these people and go say hi so we won't be rude oh don't do that uh okay they're going up and down the stairs respectful introduction and then let's do a respectful introduction all right cool Ah, let's try to do this. I'm just going to focus on Jalisa. 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 I swear I named her y'all. I promise I did. Wait, so can we not talk to them? Chat with Hillary. 
chat with Hillary. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, they're coming up here now. All right. I'm like, what is going on? Can I not speak to her? All right. She looks a lot like our mom. For a second, I was just like, who am I going to talk oh. to? They got the same hairstyle and everything. <laughs> All right. So meet five new. Okay. So we met the, that lady. So let's go try to see if we can meet the guy who keeps going up and down the stairs. With confusion. Um, I'll go do a funny introduction to him. He'll probably walk up the stairs at this point. But I do kind of want to play around with this Void Critter thing because I haven't had a chance to really do anything with it. So Void Critters. I can research game. Battle Void Critters. Oh, we have to have a Void Pack. Dang it. All right, Mom. We're going to have to buy us a Void Pack. I'm sorry. Limited edition full pack. How much is that one? Ooh, 220. Never mind. Mom would kill us. <laughs> well, she did give us permission to buy something. So let's just get like a little Void Critter pack. Hopefully it has a bunch of cards in it. I haven't played Void Critters in so long, so I don't even know. All right, so let's, after we finish talking to him, we're going to open up this booster pack. And we just got one card. We got a Wisp. All right, so let's just go on Void Critter. And we're going to train our Wisp. Play around with this for a little bit. Since she's a geek, I felt like it'd be good for get her like a little little handheld machine. So, all right. So, for some reason, they're all upstairs talking in mom's room. This is so weird. <laughs> like, why are y'all in my mom's room talking? But okay. All right. Did we play? Did we play with them? Void Critter. Train Void Critter. All right. Wisp. All right. I want to train Void Critter and play around with that. Okay. Oh, this has like a little step up in here. Okay, I was like, why she keep going up and down the stairs? Her little voice is adorable, I swear. All right, so can we get out of grown folks' business and go do something else? Did we say hi to this guy yet? I don't know if we said hi to him. All right, so we're going to train our boy critters. Oh, y'all. No way. Oh, that is adorable. I haven't had a chance to play this yet. So this is a mod too. It's basically like a handheld version of the Void Critter Machine. Because truth be told, that Void Critter Machine is... I almost got it for it, but I was like, I don't have no space for it. And I think this one was a smidge cheaper, so it was almost a little bit better. But this is really cute. It doesn't look like she's playing it though. It looks like she's watching a video, but it's still really cute. So I'm going to have her do that for a little bit. And we got our Void Critter right here. Oh, we can read the card if we want to. But I should really let them. I don't know why. I don't like the fact that they came up here. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I would have rather sit downstairs in the front room or something. But um, I'm not going to focus on anything right now. We could do our homework, though, because that will be important to do. We have to do it at least three times. So when she's finished playing with her Void Critters, I'll have her go downstairs and do her homework. I thought about getting her a desk, but her room is so small. So we'll just probably just come sit down here and do our homework. So we'll just have her do that when she finishes battling up this way. Oh, she's still walking around. But okay, I guess we're just going to go downstairs now and do it. <laughs> That'll work. Y'all, she is so cute. I gave both her. Oh, whoa. What is it? She's scared. Oh, what am I doing out here? I, baby girl, I swear to you, if I could not have you be upstairs for your mom, I promise I wouldn't. So like, I apologize. You have to go upstairs with your mom. Y'all, I might redo this house. I might no Lord. Now everybody's running down here. <laughs> They're all running down here like <laughs> like this is crazy. All right, did we write? Okay, I guess we wrote in here and everything. All right, good. So we're almost finished training up our wisp. Can we name them? Let me see. Can we name them? No, we can't. All right, that'd be cool if we could. Cause in like if it's supposed to be based off Pokemon, right? And I about to say in real life. Yeah, but in real life you can name your po Pokemon. But in the game, I meant not like in real life because Pokemon don't exist or do they? They had to have came from somewhere, right? <laughs> they had to have came from somewhere. I'm convinced. Anyway. All right. So we're almost finished. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Because being that I'm just playing with her, I don't want to bore you guys with the stuff. But we're going to go do our homework. We put our... Oh, gosh. It's okay. Jalisa, it's okay. Jalisa. Jalisa. Jalisa, it's okay. Do your homework. There you go. Are you going to sit? Where are you going to sit at? Oh, hello? What is this? Sourdough loaf? Wow. Thanks. Uh, Mom, finish talking to her. She brought a whole sourdough loaf over. Okay, talk about... I, I, let's guess, I guess let's gossip a bit. I, I don't know. Mention creative visions? I I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like... Talk about property values? I, I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. But hello? I'm, I'm really thankful that she brought something other than a fruitcake. So yeah, I'm going to definitely grab. Oh, no. I thought he I thought he took the whole thing. I was about to say, no. Don't do that. 
All right, now I'll, I'll cue her up to talk to him too. Just have some I conversations with people. Um, no, don't flaunt about wealth. Don't do that because that's right, really man. rude. You just met these people. Um, let's not ask about day. There we go. All right, so I'm not sure who these are. Oh, we already got bad relationships with them. Hector, wait, why? What did we do to have a bad relationship with them already? Discuss interest? I don't even know y'all like that. How do we already have a bad relationship? Complain about the rain? I don't know. I don't, okay, I don't know. Do I have a bad relationship with them too? No. Wow. How's she? Oh, not with Hector though. Well, you know what? It's not my place to be friends with you, Hector. How about them apples? All right, so we're going to finish doing this. Now, I do have the Carl Sims mod in. I think it's called Carl Difficulty. So there is a strong possibility. I hope it's not on hard. Hard makes it slower to gain friends. Easy. We don't want to know easy. And so I'm going to definitely put that on medium. I don't want to know easy, though. But hopefully that's not what's making it messed up. So hopefully we're okay. Satisfaction. All right, hopefully that's fine. We'll just leave it at that. I definitely don't want to know easy, but I don't want to know hard. Definitely don't want to know hard. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that's about. But anyway, so we're doing our homework right now, and I'm fast forward a little bit here. Did he just jump up? I don't know what happened there. But anyway, so we got our bet. We got our homework done. That'd be one thing we've gotten done today. Awesome. All right, and she needs to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna have her go here and use the restroom. And I think, oh, I thought they left. Y'all, it is thundering and lightning over here. Like, what in the heck? All right, so we're going to use the restroom. Why is mom coming in here to wash? <sighs> so I guess they did, that didn't get fixed. Um, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. I swear. Um, she does have a sink in here, though. So, you know, you didn't have to go in there, mom, to wash the dishes. But I'll go grab a serving of that. Now she's going to be embarrassed again. <laughs> I really should get going now. Uh, all right. Well, order Larissa to clean. I don't even know. <laughs> I will get one of these though. And then I'll have mom. Can we click the sink here and maybe? Okay. No, we can't. All right. Um, clean up. Now can we do it? All right. Is she going to go? Okay. It is what it is, y'all. I, I don't know that they'll ever fix that where Sims actually go to the kitchen sink. But this looks really good. So I'm going to have mom put it up because I don't want it to go bad. Because I've never seen anybody bring us a a loaf a bread or anything so this guy is still here i don't know he doesn't like us it seems like so i'm not even sure uh why he's still here but i'll have her queue up just to have like a little conversation with him since he's partaking of our reading library might as well like enjoy our conversation together oh look Jalissa actually did it right. Thank you, Jalissa. I appreciate it. So we're going to wash these dishes. All right. So we got the homework done. Can we sign up? I guess we'll wait till after school starts, but then maybe we should sign up for an after school activity. We have to get one skill to level two in order to get that up as well. And I don't even know what we can do because it's raining outside right now. So we can't even go out here, which I think would give us some skill. We could hop on the trampoline, but then we could swing. I don't know if that'll give us anything. So we might just have to just chill out. Um, she's going to write in her journal a little bit. And I guess let's go Let's go put this away, though. Jalissa, we don't want to leave that out. All right, what else do we need to do? And what I'll probably do is just fast forward until tomorrow. Her energy is getting a little bit low. Okay, let's not put it on the bookshelf, though, Jalissa. That, that's not the best thing to do. I mean, hello. It's your private journal. That's the last thing we want to do. All right. Um, so we do need to get our skill level up to, on a little bit. So come back here. I'm going to have her go in a room. And, oh, we do have toys in here. Let's see. Can we play with a toy? Okay, we got a couple things in here. So I'll have her go play with toys for a little bit. Maybe that'll help her imagination skill. We can get a little bit of skills up and then uh, go from there. But it's already 524. I'm going to go on. I know she's not starving because they had the sourdough look, but that just seems very unrealistic for us to have that for our dinner. So I'm going to have mom come over here and serve dinner. So let's see. Serve. Let's do grilled cheese sandwiches because that sounds like fun. Um, and then have her have that here in a second we'll be able to eat that in a second so we're just going to play a little bit and then um go from there where are we doing okay so we put that up all right um i guess can we no don't go to sleep don't go to sleep that was a mistake that was a mistake i was trying to see if there was something we can do to talk to the monster underneath <laughs> underneath the bed i guess we'll play with some more toys i'll just have her randomly play with toys until mom is finished with the food and then we'll go from there but she's in a good mood she enjoyed the sourdough loaf 
She likes being new to the neighborhood. She is scared of thunderstorms. And she likes the fact that it's a sparkling clean surrounding. So that's awesome. All right, Mom, as soon as you're done with that, is this guy still talking to you? Who is he? Okay, at least it's not red. Well, it's still red, but it's not as red as it was before. Um, but oh my gosh, y'all. It is thundering out there. I was not expecting to get in the game. And I did start off as fall. I forgot to say that because I felt like, you know, school starting and everything like that. That'd probably be the best thing to do. Oh, excellent quality. Thanks, Mom. All right. All right. So I'm going to come out here in a second and come grab me a serving of this. And we're definitely going to go to sleep, y'all, because I want her to go to school bright and early and wake up in an amazing mood and make sure everything is good to go. I don't want there to be any issues. So I'm going to time it to have her bedtime be around 8 o'clock. I think that's doable. So let's go on and stop. I know this man did not just come in my bedroom. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is my daughter's room. Hello. Can you please ask him? Why is he still here? Like welcome wagon things should be done. Like, does he like my mom? Like, what's going on? Like, sir. Yeah, okay, this is creepy. We're gonna go on and hit this up real quick. You could just leave, yeah. Like, the fact that you sitting there staring at my daughter like that. Like, hello? <laughs> I know I'm playing as her, but... And then she's sitting there in her bedclothes playing with her toys. And he's sitting there looking like a little creepy McCreepster. Excuse you. All right, let's go get ourselves... We're not starving, y'all. But we'll go get ourselves a, um, a grilled cheese sandwich. Yum, yum. Go sit at the table here. I don't know where mom... Oh, we're going to sit right here. All right. Mom's cleaning up a bit. I guess if worse comes to worse, mom can just go put these away. And then um, actually go put this book away as well. Go put that away. And then I'll let mom do her thing. Or actually, mom should, before she puts that away, she should probably grab herself a serving because she's going to be hungry here in a second. And then put it away. All right. So as soon as Jalissa is done... I'm going to have her, she doesn't need to take a shower, but I might have her do it anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have her take a shower and then we're going to get ready for bed. I know she got her bed clothes on, but we're going to have her get ready for bed after that. And yeah, I will probably see you guys. Well, not probably. I will see you guys in the morning. We're going to go on and have a mud fight. Yes, yeah, just going to X that out because I was thinking about like, should I? <laughs> Should I have a mud fight with somebody? She wants to make a friend, so we're definitely going to take care of that. So hopefully tomorrow, first day of school, will go over great cross fingers. So I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is the morning. And Jalissa and Larissa, <laughs> I just realized their names are very close together. But anyway, they both just woke up. So I got Larissa using the restroom, and she's going to go um, ask for it. Nope, don't even do it. <laughs> And then she's going to go make them some breakfast. I think her school starts at 8 officially. So we do have a little time before we have to get ready to go to school. So I'll just go here because we do need to get ready to uh, use a bathroom and grab something to eat. I don't know if we're going to like bring a lunch to school. So I did. We're going to cross fingers and hope that this works. I did put a school in that's supposed to work with the go to school mod. And I ended up putting the go to get to um, the Discover University thing in there which is supposed to i think help with food like have someone like show up with food um so hopefully that works so we can like get ourselves something to eat that way but um if not we might have to bring us ourselves like a little lunch so just in case i'll have her go take uh the leftovers here and let me see open can we pack a sack lunch pack into a sack lunch there we go so we'll pack one of those into the sack lunch but mom is making some um food i do have a lunch box i just thought about that but i don't know how to use it but i do have a lunch box that's supposed to help the freshness of uh your your kids uh, sim sim kids food and everything but i'm not sure how to use it so we have to play around with that see how to do that oh okay so we're gonna send her alone that's larissa so larissa go on and go to go work when you get a chance and our school starts in an hour so Hopefully we, okay, good. So we got our little sack lunch packed. Hopefully Larissa will get out of here because she's late. Going to put this in our inventory. And then we're going to leave this here because we don't want to bring anything that's going to be considered a distraction for school. All right, so mom, go in and go, oh, mom, you got to go to work. <laughs> Mom's over here like, it's your first day of school. I'm going to be late today. I, I'm going to let her go. She's, she's going to definitely go. So I'm just going to cool that out. Okay, yep, I'm just going to have her do that because I can't really mess around with that but um let's go on and grab ourselves really quickly grab a serving we only got like 30 minutes before we gotta go to school and i'm gonna put her um 
her journal here because we don't need to bring that to school with us as well. All right. So there we go. We're going to grab ourselves something to eat really quickly and then hopefully we'll be headed to school. Um, and then I'm just going to keep this minimized until we need it. Um, because right now I don't think we need to have it up on the screen the whole time. All right. Bye, mom. Have a good day at work. Good first day at work. All right. So mom's out of here. We should be going to school in a second. So I need her just to go in and finish eating. Uh, we're going to go in and close this stuff out and cross fingers that this works, y'all. You never know with script mods these days. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. You never know. You never know. So we got five minutes where we got to go to school. And I'm excited. I can't wait to see her first day at school because, yeah, this is going to be fun. All right. So let's go on and head to school. Welcome to your new school. Here we teach you the ways of the world so that your brain may grow at the same rate as your body. It's really important because it would be super weird if your brain stayed the same size forever. <laughs> Are you ready? Good. Select the teacher who should be at the podium and choose the attend introduction class interaction. The whole world could one day depend on you. All right. So really quickly, let's see what we got going on. We got quite a few kids subs here. Yay. Y'all, I put so many in. So it's like, I'm surprised it's not more, but at least we got a couple of kids sims here so we can have it um be a nice full day of class and here is the school i got this off the gallery i did tweak it a bit uh but i loved the colors of the school like it's absolutely beautiful um and it's fall right now so i see the leaves and stuff it's just beautiful um i did add this soccer field and this basketball field this soccer field is a mod so uh, if you guys want details on that let me know and also this playground and these swings are also a mod so or custom content rather so i added those because i just thought they'd be cute out here with the colors and everything so inside let me show you guys the interior of the school so you first walk in here we got stuffed animals so we could always befriend the stuffed animals here uh, we have one classroom here we have a another art class here of course we got outdoors for the uh, playground or whatever uh, then we have this cafeteria here which oh I just realized I didn't fix this I you know what's funny I did fix it but then it must have got messed up because I remember I had to replace the lot so I forgot to change it back so I'll go and fix this cafeteria real quick before we get started good um, then up here we have another classroom we have a library another seating area then we have our bathrooms and then we have science class there and then we go up one more floor and then of course there's music class here, another lecture room, and then a computer lab. So everything your sim needs, but I absolutely love this lot. I thought it was so cute and colorful. I was just like, I can't, I need it, I need it. So let me fix this cafeteria real quick though, so we can have that be okay. All right, guys, I think we are good to go. We have our one teacher here, Mr. Gregory Short. Um, I don't know how to make him. I just was looking at that. I don't know how to make him. Oh, they're all going to the podium now. Okay, so I guess they're all just going to go. So we're all going to go. Apparently, he had to place a podium. So I'm assuming it's going to be this one right here. So we're going to all go in here. Let's make sure that everybody's going in here. I think so. I think everybody's going in here for the first day of class. Yay. Okay, everybody's going in here. All right, so let's go here with them. And then we'll go uh, attend our first day of class. Do we already have a bad? Okay, I thought we already had a bad. I saw a negative. But we also have a couple of other staff members here. For some reason, we got a val val I can't even talk. We got a vampire as a counselor. Anyway, then we got uh, Principal King. And we have a caterer, Caleb Benjamin. And of course, we got this one, uh, the vampire. But anyway, let's go in here and take part of our lesson. Let's go sit here. All right, so we're attending our introduction class, I think, right now. Hopefully, we're getting credit for it. It says, select the teacher who should be by the podium and select. Okay, select the teacher, and then we need to attend. Okay, there we go. So now we're attending. All right, cool. But we could sit. Okay, where are we sitting? I guess we're moving. Okay, we went and sat back here for whatever reason. All right, do not ask questions yet. You have to move your mouth and use it to make sounds. You know what you would usually do when you'd want to talk. Try it out. While attending a lesson, select the teacher and choose one of the ask question interactions. All right, so we need to ask at least four questions. So let's ask a mental question. And then let's ask a creativity question. And then a social question and also a motor question. So we have until three o'clock to get our little first day of school done. So we're gonna sit back here. All right, get this together. Oh gosh, is she asking questions? Or <laughs> all right, let's see what we got going on. Uh, 
we got a mental okay we got a couple things your next assignment is to use activity table and draw what's in your head it won't become real don't worry all right so we have to go to art class now to go do that so let's pause it real quick art class which i think i didn't tell you guys where it was but it is across the way here so let's come over here and let's go draw we'll go draw some shapes and go get that taken care of. So one cool thing about this mod too is it does give you an opportunity to not only go to school with your kid, but to also um, do activities and stuff. So you can like get their grade level up, not only that, and but get their skill levels and ups too. So that's really cool. So let's go on and get up. We're gonna go on and go take care of her drawing. Um, hopefully the other kids will get it together too. But I do want to meet one of the kids today. Um, we have Navel N Nayeli. Y'all, I swear, I just want to grab Sims from the gallery. We got Betty. Um, we got uh, Blue, um, Travis, uh, Willa, and then who else we got over here? Sandeep, um, Elsa, which we know Elsa from the uh one of the families here so we're gonna draw a little bit real quick but i can't wait for playground time because i feel like everybody should come over here and draw right all right so go play an instrument now it's time for art class i mean for music class can we take this with us oh she's still drawing it okay i'm gonna wait for her to finish drawing that and we'll just take it with us because i think it'll be nice to bring it home to mom um and then music class is on the third floor i think if i'm not mistaken so yeah we'll go up here and i guess we'll just go grab an instrument and go play it so we'll go practice and do that. Um, we also are very inspired. So hopefully that's really good. The kids are still in there. Hopefully they're going to do some stuff too. I can't tell whether they are or not. But we're almost finished. We might stop this. What is she drawing, by the way? Oh, that is adorable. It's a shapes drawing. But there's like macaronis and all sorts of stuff on there. But um, this is really cute. Uh, so let's see. We I want to make sure we get a good day going. So I'm going to try my hardest to let her finish this. But if we have to just exit out. I will definitely be Xing it out. Oh, she's adding glitter. All right, she finished that. So I put it in her inventory. We're going to go upstairs, which is all the way on the third floor. <laughs> Hopefully we get everything done today. But I definitely want her to meet some of her classmates. So um, if we can at least get through half of our day, not too bad, then I definitely will take advantage and meet some of her classmates. Um, so she can at least start working her way, making friends. But I do want to make sure we get all this stuff straight too, because, you know, it's a good idea. So as soon as we get this marked out, y'all, I'm just going to exit it out. All right, cool. Practice typing. Aw, yay. She likes the violin. I love it. Okay. No, no, don't do that. Okay, so we're going to go practice typing. Um, I'm going to try to get everything done, y'all, so we get at least go um, hang out with our friends, practice typing, or, or hang out with new friends, try to make some new friends. All right. Yep, that's so funny. I'm glad you like the violin, Jalissa. Jalisa, Jalisa, why I keep butchering this poor kid's <laughs> name, I swear. All right, and is she hungry or anything right now? Okay, so we're good right now. Even though we brought our little lunch with us, we're still good right now. So I think we're going to be fine. Um, I think the other kids are still at the introduction class. So I don't even know when they're going to come up here, but it would be cool if they were like going everywhere like how we are to go take care of everything. So we're going to practice typing for a little bit and then we're going to probably, oh, no, he did not just zoom up in here. I swear. All right, so we got that. We got experiment next. Let's just go on and stop that. Now, chemistry science class, I think, was on the first floor, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it on the second floor? It is on the second floor. All right, so let's go to the second floor. All right, here we go. And let's go experiment for a little bit. And then we'll go from there. Um, I think after this, I'm going to probably chill out and let her um, go hang out with some of her classmates because we really haven't had a chance to go meet anybody yet, y'all, which kind of sucks because they're all down here attending class, even the caterer, which I was hoping he would make his way back here. Oh, y'all, is this locked? Oh, y'all, hold on. That might be locked. All right, I went on and put a doorway there, so hopefully he'll actually go there, but he is the caterer, unless I was just supposed to have him have like a kitchen and not, oh, he's going over there now. Well, maybe he's not going over there now. I'm not sure, but he's sitting in the class right now like he's talking to the kids. <gasps> They're over here doing their schoolwork and stuff. Orbital pudding, letting spill. Oh my gosh. All right, so when we finish experiment, I'm gonna come down here and introduce myself to some of the kids. Let's do a funny introduction. They're not doing anything. Downplay stress. I don't even know what that means. Do another funny introduction. Then we'll come over here and scoff at discomfort. Do a friendly introduction here. Your next assignment is to go have lunch. Oh, well, dang it. Is he coming over here to fit? Oh, y'all, wait a minute. I see what's going on. 
I grabbed this lot from the gallery. So it's clearly it doesn't have a door to get in here. So that's the reason why I'm like, why isn't he going over here to serve the food? <laughs> Cause we don't have a doorway. <laughs> All right, let's try to get us a door real quick. I'm just gonna put this here. I swear, sometimes you gotta check. You gotta check your stuff before you get all into it and be like, yay, I got this, this is awesome. And then it ends up being messed up. Uh, let's just get a regular door, y'all. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, something that'll actually go, oh gosh. Uh, you know what, I might have to put it on this side, which is fine. So maybe we will get a door like, th you know what? Let's get a door like this so everything can match. There we go. All right, so now we should be able to go in there and have lunch. All right, so we're gonna uh, start lunch or eat food. All right, so let's finish experiment. Then we're gonna come over here and talk to um, the kids, which is perfect timing because she needs social right now. So we're gonna exit that out and go talk to the kids here. Oh, is he coughing? Okay, Travis, be careful. Um, so I do have a medical mod in where, oh goodness. Will, are you good? She look angry? She's like, I've been sitting in this classroom. And then do a friendly introduction to her too. So, so far we got halfway into our introduction day, but we do need to eat lunch and stuff. So I'll just have her, oh, you know what? Look, we got this on, oh, our few, our cube is full. Okay, let's hurry up and get down here and go talk to people. Cause one good thing is like us starting up friendships. Oh my gosh, each work can be extended. You know what? We're gonna extend it. We're gonna stay late y'all. Um, she's just gonna stay late today so we can catch up on something. Oh my goodness, he does have like a little, Oh, all right. So let's do question. Um, let's do funny. Tell an outrageous story, and then let's uh uh friendly. Ask about day. All right. Did we introduce ourselves to her yet? Um, discuss stress mood. Oh, they're all stressed right now. Don't tease about. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to do something nice. Like, hello. It things about candy. All right. And then we'll try to eat. Oh, this is. Okay. So let's just unpack that sack lunch. Um, maybe I can convince them all to come over here together. Go here together. Maybe we can all go here together and go try to have lunch. Because it is 246, y'all. Um, hopefully we can all go over here. And we didn't even get a chance to go outside and play. It is rainy. So I guess we wouldn't be playing today anyway. But we were able to get. Oh, it's spoiled? No way. Our lunch spoiled, y'all. Well, dang it. All right. And then this guy did not come. So I got to figure out what we need to do for that. Uh, Mom only made $80 today. So that is not good. So we can't even eat anything, y'all. Shoot. Okay. Um, all right. I guess let's just talk to everybody. Funny introduction. Uh, joke about cartoons. That kind of sucks. Part of me wants to eat. Oh, it disappeared. I'm about to say, part of me wants to eat it. Can he come please fix us food? I wonder if it needs to be just a regular smegular kitchen, y'all. It might need to be a regular kitchen. Uh, let's see real quick. Since we're playing around with it, I, like I said, I haven't played with this mod in a while, so we're going to be playing around with it. But I was hoping he would have just spawned here, but maybe only works in Brightchester because so, it's a college thing. So we're going to get rid of it. Let's just give him a regular kitchen and see if that helps out a little bit. Um, it'd be cool if he just would come and do his thing, but clearly that's not working. So um, let's just give him a regular kitchen here. Uh, I don't want to cover up the... Whoever made this, though, I feel like they put like a lot of stuff. Uh, you know what I could do? Hold on a second. I got an idea. Because it could be a little bit neater looking. And then let's go get ourselves an oven. Um, I think I have one that kind of goes into, maybe not. I thought I had one that goes into the cabinet so it can kind of look uh, neat. It doesn't look like that's going to be a thing. So I'm just going to get rid of this guy and put this here. And then we're going to give him a sink. Maybe we'll put a sink over here. I don't even know if it really matters what kind of sink I give him because he's going to wash. I don't know what he's going to do. I really don't. So I guess we'll just go on and get escargo. S cargo. Let's look for that one. All right, guys, I made it a kitchen. So hopefully he'll actually come and cook something. But if not, no big deal. We just won't be able to, um, because I don't know how to hire staff. Okay, so it says, hold on, let's see if it says anything. Start lunch or eat food. So I'm not sure how to start lunch. Um, I'm not even sure how to make this guy go be the one to do it. But he is the caterer, so hopefully he'll just come over here because... 
<laughs> the school district is totally paying for him to come feed us. So uh, mom's home right now. So I'm just going to have her care for herself and make sure she's good. Uh, but we only have a couple, like a little bit left, an hour and 29 minutes left to go. Um, so I'm going to try my hardest. But right now she's talking to uh, Willa. So I'll just um, joke about cartoons, get to know a little bit. Uh, tell an outrageous story. I just saw Get to Know. Um, we're not going to order her to clean. Come on now. Uh, get to Know a little bit. So we didn't have like an amazing first date, but that's okay. Um, I might put some vending machines in here too, just in case. Talk about school. And then um, maybe tell a goofy story. All right. So we'll just have her finish socializing. So let's see how we're making out real quick with our friends thingy. So we haven't got anything. <laughs> Um, we just got best friends become good friends before all right, but we're on our way We're on our way. So let's check and see how many friends we've made so far. So we've got Willa Elsa blue Betty and Travis so we have made at least five friends today, which isn't bad So we just have to develop our friendships with them and hope that we could um, Get these things checked off, but we need to be at least best friends with one of these sims so um Let's see. I'm going to finish talking to them. Maybe we'll just focus on one or two, but I kind of want to make it make sense. Like, let's get someone that maybe has um, something in common with her. Some things about new show. And then let's... Oh, we didn't even talk to him yet. Funny introduction. If we can meet everybody today, y'all, that'll be amazing. Oh, okay. She's leaving. All right. I guess that some of them are leaving because school is technically over. But we didn't get a chance to finish all of our stuff for the day. But that's okay. Because, I mean, the lunch thing kind of was a, a, a bust being that... Our lunch spoiled. How does grilled cheese spoil from a couple hours? And I took it straight out their fridge. So what's that about? Um, that's kind of disappointing. But regardless, um, got quite a bit of things going on. So I'm excited. So I'm going to let her finish up here and I'll see you guys when she gets back home. All right, guys, we have made it back home. So mom is here. Let's go hugging her lovingly and tell her about our day and let her know about how cool our day is. Let's discuss comfortable, uncomfortable mood. Can I show this to her? Um, I wish we could put it on the refrigerator, but I don't think there's a way I could do it. So I'll just stick it here. It's like a little, actually, you know what? We'll put it in her room because technically it's her little memento from her first day of school. Can I name it? Dang it. I could just view it. All right. I must that'd be cute if I could have named it, but, um, I kind of want to see about inviting one of her friends over that we just met. The only one that we have the highest level with would be either Elsa or Willa, but we ended up the, we ended the day. Uh, talking to Willa the most. So let me see if I could invite her to hang out um, and see. Oh, mom's getting a call. Uh, wow. Okay, we're not gonna, I would love to send mom. Can I, I wish I could just send her to, to go off with him, but um, I'm gonna have to end up going with him. So I'm just gonna cancel it. And oh gosh, mom has the stomach flu? Oh, that's not good. All right. Um. So that's part of this uh, <laughs> this mod that I have in my game. Um, and I got to figure out how to do it. Here we go, my health portal. All right, so let's have her schedule an appointment. And you know what? I'll just go on and take Jalissa too so she can get a checkup. And we're going to do, actually, go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, just schedule an appointment for just her. And then I'll have her do a sick visit because she definitely is sick. And then we'll just do that health clinic. Um our next available opening for you to be seen is in 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she has to go out pretty quickly. Um, all right, so she's going to have to go to the doctor here in a second. But I'm going to try to call our friend and see if we can get her to come over. And uh, see if... Oh no. Whoa. Seriously? Wow. Okay, y'all. I might have to take her to, to thing too. Dang it. All right. Let me... um invite her in and uh, we'll go from there but Willa did show up so at least we have her for a little bit and let's not tease her though let's just do a friendly um, ask about day maybe they can go cloud gaze so let's go do that friendly ask the cloud gaze is she gonna be sick too y'all <laughs> should I have had her because mom needs to go here in a second oh no <laughs> mommy's not doing good I'm gonna send her alone and hopefully she'll get her evaluation and everything will be okay because like I said we can't really focus on the parent I like that mod but I swear it throws you for a loop from time to time um but there we go Go have them cloud gaze a little bit. And this is adorable. Let me get a picture really quick. 
Aw, is this going to be her best friend? I don't know, y'all. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But definitely going to try to get them up a little bit. So let's question. Um, well, I guess we could ask about hobbies and skills. And then do get to know a little bit. And then uh, discuss interest. And then I'll see if maybe we can go swing together. No, we can't do it. We can't do anything right now. But I don't know how long I've been recording for y'all because I've been just going at it ever since I started. So I'm probably going to go on and end this because yeah, it's probably super long at this point. But hopefully you guys enjoy. We got two days in. I probably will be just doing one day per episode. So expect about 13, well, 12 more episodes since this will be day one. And uh, at this point she is, well, we just went up a day. So yeah, we got 12 more days. So we got 12 days slash 12 episodes to get this challenge done I don't feel like it's going to be hard um I just feel like it's a lot of stuff to do in a limited amount of time so maybe while she's here too I'll have her work on her homework with her we got to get them up let's just stop just because y'all taking way too long <laughs> I get it you guys oh gosh is she not feeling good oh, all right we can't do homework together so Hopefully we'll just do that. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. We'll be back uh, on Tuesday. I'll take her to school, see if we can get some stuff done. Hopefully next go round we could actually have lunch and hopefully all that stuff works out. If not, I might have to just put some vending machines in there and then just have them just order some things from the vending machine. But um, there's a caterer there, so I'm not sure why he just didn't go cook. Unless it needs to be something else besides a kitchen. Maybe it needs to be... A restaurant kitchen? That'll be really weird. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comment box down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.